Hey everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good. So today we will discuss about few performance tuning point, okay, which will help you to start doing the SQL Server performance tuning, okay. Uh, so before starting the session, I would request each and everyone who ever newly joined channel, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA. You will get the you know more video on real time based scenario. And I would request to each and everyone, uh, please join the channel member, so you will get the more benefit and uh, I will also get the motivation. So whenever you start the SQL Server performance tuning, okay, so a couple of things you need to keep in mind from which point and from where you need to start the, you know, performance tuning because performance tuning, you know, uh, is a main core area for SQL Server DBA. So the, your initial point should be, you know, from the scratch. Uh, so whenever you feel uh, uh, got the any performance tuning and request, and when you start, you know, working on any performance tuning, so these eight points, you know, which you need to really focus on that. So starting from the, you know, you can check the any blocking session uh, on a particular database on a particular instance. So is there any blocking session you have to figure out? Check the uh, you know uh, the CPU and memory in terms of hardware. Uh, what is the response of CPU and memory from the last couple of hours or during that time frame? You can check. Check the uh, log backups and the space uh, whether the you know we have a sufficient space or not, and what is the you know update for the backups. Check the execution plan. You have to figure out. Uh, particular query, if any query is causing the issue, you have to check the query execution plan, uh, what kind of index is happening, whether it's a table scan or index seek, if any recommendation for any particular query uh, to create any index, so that you have to see in a, you know, index plan, what is the cost, uh, you know, of that particular query is taking. And the, the fifth part is like, a, you know, all the weight type, which is very, very, you know, uh, major area in terms of performance, what weight types and you can see the disk response through the activity monitor, you can see uh, what is the disk, you know, response for in terms of IO. Recommended side, uh, uh, recommended value is, you know, uh, it should be much uh, less than 30 milliseconds, but you have to figure out if it is more than, then definitely disk IO is causing problem. So you have to figure out and then the third is uh, the another point is like you know uh, you can see the you know fragmentation level of index whether the index is uh, fragmented or not if it is not check the fragmentation level and also check the you know stats is updated or not which is which is very very you know major area uh, about any query whether we are update stats is updated or not and then if it is not uh, then you have to you know uh, update your statics clear the pre, uh, uh, free pro cache through the command and because it will start the new you know a plan to use it and check the error log what the SQL server error log is reporting is there any kind of specific error also check the you know event viewer Windows event viewer. So if you check these many areas, definitely you will find some area uh, where uh, where exactly the issue is occurring actually. Either in terms of hardware, maybe disk response is slow, so you can engage the uh, SAN team, storage team to figure out the disk response. If it is, you know, uh, CPU and memory is high, you ha have to figure out what is causing actually any blocking session is there and because of that other process is holding so you need to figure out so these eight points really need to focus in a one uh, shot actually we can see when you start uh, performance so these many areas you have to keep on your eye and definitely within this area you will find something where the exact cause is happening okay so when you start performance tuning, keep on your mind, these areas need to figure out 
and definitely you will get something from these areas okay so well that's it for today you just keep it in notepad i will put it in description these uh, these many points you can note down from there also well that's it for today thank you keep watching